happy National Peace Day to you. Uh, let's 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 get right into it. Of course, the biggest news coming out of Cote d'Ivoire today: uh, President Ouattara dissolving his cabinet, and and certainly many feel that this is an indication that that the country is still unstable. I mean, give us an update on the situation, and certainly, have you heard anything from the government yet? And what impact and implications will this have on the markets going forward? Thank you, Uche. The, 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 the announcement came as a, as a surprise for, for everyone, and we were not expecting it. But getting some insight from the government, um, it came because a bill uh, was actually presented by a minister from the PDCI to the parliament. And the minister from the PDCI is part of a coalition, the uh, RIHDP, that is actually the coalition that won the election with President Ouattara, made of RDR, PDCR, and all of them. So they are the one present in the cabinet. So they are the one who prepared the bill and actually took it to the parliament, and these people did not support the bill uh, once there. So President Ouattara was pretty, actually not happy about how things were running, and he decided to um, change things around and see um, what, what, what they will do. Because the bill was about marriage. It's not something it's very important. It was changing a few things. But if there is something more important coming about citizenship, he doesn't want this situation to, to, to arise again. So right. it's not... And I think most importantly, Kadi, has the government, has the president come out and and given an update on the situation? Maybe when we're gonna, he's gonna be putting together a new cabinet. Uh, what exactly uh, can the people expect uh, from them right now? We are looking at next next week. Um, we are we're looking at next week. For now, the prime minister is actually running. Um, current things. Um, president is actually he actually traveled this morning. Went to the Vatican. So um, next week we should have um, a government, and we hope we will see some people from the opposition parties being represented in the government. This is um, something that we we've been expecting and hoping to see. So hopefully he has a chance now to 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 do it. Right. And Kari, suddenly this is not a good picture for Cote d'Ivoire, still giving out a picture that the country is unstable, of course, after the crisis uh, that happened not so long ago. What implications do you think this will have on its, uh, the country's markets and certainly sentiments when it comes to investors? The market actually went up 1% yesterday. Um, people were surprised, yes. It looked at as uh, the country was not stable. But to me, I look at it as the, the, the president is actually trying to run things um, his way. Um, the rumors were going around saying there is a crisis within the RSDP. So he, he went for a long time, so he's now trying to, to put things straight. So, yes, the, the country is not stable because we have to remember we're coming out of the war but it's well run, and it's run by someone that is actually showing that he's there. Mm. Well, let's talk about what's actually happening on the markets, looking at the BV BRVM. Like you said, the markets were up uh, uh, yesterday, and suddenly looking at the company's driving performance, we saw Solibra, which is a brewery, and of course, uh, Citab, which is a tobacco company, topping the gainers list. Of course, for you, Cardi, what is driving performance, uh, that performance currently on the market? It's the results. We saw... Um half-year results coming from most of these companies, and they are pretty good for a country coming, uh, coming out of the war. And so, so people are actually trying to, uh, to show that they're happy. At the end of this year, they're hoping to see good dividends. And we also saw Sonatel. Well, you mentioned Citab um, and, um, and, and Solibra, two companies that were really not that much impacted by the crisis and are still running and doing well. So Natal also is also driving um, the prices with uh, the upcoming split for for the end of this month, for so next week actually. Mm. And Cardi, and, and that. Well, go ahead. That stock gained thirty seven percent year year to date. Right, and, and Cardi, we are I mean, hoping to see it ending at fifty percent at the end of the year. Okay. Well, so, uh, sorry for interrupting you there, Kadi. But and you talked about Sonatel. Can you tell us a bit more? Give us an update on this split uh, that we're we're expecting coming uh, from Sonatel, and certainly the impact this is having on the stock's performance. Like you said, the stock is performing quite well. 
This stock is actually um, owned, 80% of the float is owned by foreign investors. So the 20% left uh, is owned by Senegalese investor and some of the other um, small investor, retail investor from the region. So Sonatel is hoping to um, get a, a lower price. It's actually one share that is split into 10 um, to enable these investors to to actually buy and, and, and sell the stock. For now, it's good for uh, foreign investors, but for local small pocket investors, the price was pretty high. So we're hoping to see more liquidity and the price should actually gain from it. Let's take a look at what's going on in the financial sector, uh, Cardi. Suddenly looking at SJBCI, I was going to say it in French, SJBCI, Société Générale de Banque en Côte d'Ivoire. It's hitting an all, all higher. That's what we saw yesterday. So what's the picture in the financial sector? SGBCI came out with a result that is $11 billion for, for, for the half-year results. came with $11 billion um, CFA. <coughs> Uh, it ended last year at 18. So uh, last year result close to somewhat um, to, to, the, to the year uh, uh, annual result from last year. Uh, everybody's running for that stock, and we will see more stock in the banking industry um, as we are looking into 2013 and two new IPOs for um, the fourth bank, which is um, NCA Bank, and the seventh bank, which is uh, CIB. That will be put on the market in 2013. And these are market cap that will be close to 100 to 115 million US dollars. Okay, and Tony, what's your outlook for the market in the coming weeks? Do you expect uh, the market to, market to maintain this bullish uh, trend even with the current uh, political situation? Oh, yes, definitely, because on the economic side, Things are booming. Um, infrastructure is going well, especially for uh, it, it's helping the banking sector because they have all the financing. They, I mean, all the, the opening they need to finance. We see roads coming out of everywhere. So economy is going very well. And as we saw, the president, as I said before, is showing that he's actually running the country. Things will get better and better.